In Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus, the city hosts the largest Palestinian Christian community in the West Bank, which has been under the control of the Palestinian Authority since 1995. As preparations are underway for Christmas, the Palestinian Authority announced that the number of tourists this year that have visited the Holy City has approached nearly one million. Luai Ayad is a Palestinian Christian from Bethlehem who used to work as a tour guide in both Palestine and Israel. Israel cancelled his work permission eight years ago. Despite the increase in tourism to the historical sites of Bethlehem, he continues to experience economic hardships, having to cut down on his expenses since he lost his job due to Israeli closures and Israeli attacks in and around Bethlehem, which have driven the tourists away from the city. Because I have no permission to work in Israel, I've lost most of my work. And now, I only make about 10% of what I used to make before, which affects me economically, especially during the Christmas celebration. Now, I can't buy a lot of the things I need, such as clothes for my wife and I. We can only afford things for our children now. The economy in Bethlehem City depends, for the most part, on tourism and related work, such as oriental souvenir manufacturing and retail shops to sell the products. Ronnie Debash is the third generation of his family to run the family oriental souvenir shop, located next to the Church of the Nativity. The Israeli tour companies and guides keep tourists away from shops and restaurants by informing tourists that it is too dangerous to visit shops and restaurants. We are not seeing any tourists coming to this market near the Nativity Church. Because, as we said, the problem, the tourists are coming, visiting the church and direct to the bus. So we need the tourists to go all around Bethlehem. They should give them maybe half an hour free tour in Bethlehem. Shopping, to the restaurant, all over Bethlehem. The holy city has been completely surrounded by the Israeli annexation wall and illegal settlements ever since the second Palestinian uprising, or known to locals, is the Second Intifada. Frequent Israeli military incursions and attacks on Bethlehem are effectively driving the local economy to the edges of collapse. This year, we have achieved 1,140,000 tourists, a record number compared to past years. And what is more important, the number of tourists staying in Palestinian hotels has increased to 500,000. The revenues from tourism in 2007 was $214 million US. This year, initial estimates suggest revenues will reach $370 million US, an 80% increase on last year. For Luai, this year's increase in tourism in Bethlehem did not change the reality of economic hardship for local Palestinians. Nevertheless, the people of Bethlehem still try to conduct celebrations, hoping that next year the situation will improve. From IMEMC, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.